guys Assalamualaikum Ya Haru back And this week we're gonna talk about This one character This one anti-hero That I really love That I hold dear to my heart And he loves to punish people And he's coming to Netflix Next week on 17th of November Yes we're gonna talk about The origin for the Punisher And let's get started guys His first appearance Dekat dalam comic universe The first appearance For The Punisher Was in The Amazing Spider-Man Issue 1 to 9 Where he appear As a antagonist And Dia sebenarnya Karakter Punisher ni Created by Jerry Conway Okay Jerry Conway ni Sebenarnya dia adalah uh, Designer Ataupun Artis yang design Karakter uh, Karakter uh, punya Costume and dia dekat dalam masa lapang dia while dia uh, design for DC and Marvel dia adalah buat dia punya own personal ideas and one of them is Punisher but at the first place dia tak nak panggil Punisher Punisher he want to call it the assassin but then Stanley decided to call it Punisher sebab uh, dia dulu ada satu character from a Galactus robot called Punisher so Stanley decided to just call Frank Castle Punisher sebab kalau dia orang pakai assassin it does not uh, menggambarkan yang This guy can be a hero one day Because he's assassin You know So Sandy decided just to call him The Punisher So dari situlah Terlahirnya Frank Castle or The Punisher Okay let's get started with Frank Castle origin Frank Castle was born in Queen Sama macam Spidey uh, Peter Parker And uh, The young Frank Castle uh, Is actually used to study to be a priest Before he enlisted to Marine Ops and masa dia masuk Marine Ops, he's really good in it And dia dapat naik pangkat cepat as a captain uh, Dapat naik rank cepat as a captain And he was married to uh, his love called Maria And that time, uh, at the moment of time yang orang get married tu Sebenarnya Maria already pregnant with their first child So, yeah, it's just uh, Frank sebenarnya dulu pernah belajar nak jadi priest Before dia jadi Marine, okay? And we're going to talk about Vietnam War Okay, Frank dihantar ke atau di-stationkan ketika Vietnam War And dia sebagai point man At one point of the time at Vietnam He discovered that his training buddies Which is Roger Wong Was actually doing a black market uh, stuff Running a black market stuff Where he actually distribute weapons to the local uh, at Vietnam And just to move just to hide Frank from the trial They decided to put uh, Frank dekat tempat baru Which is like a recruitment office Dekat kawasan lain So bila Frank dah dihantar ke This one area which is a new area uh, Frank uh, Disuruh Untuk handle a recruitment office And dekat situlah dia berjumpa Dengan Linus Lieberman AKA Microchip that was their first time They met each other but then Frank actually disqualified microchip sebab microchip is overweight and have a flat feet but then microchip will be one of the important people in Frank uh, journey to be a punisher so I'm really excited for it let's get started to this one important uh, storyline which is the point where Frank has to change his way or the way he looks uh, in life so let's get started with this story Alright, let's turn down the mood uh, Let us feel this part of the story together And yeah, let's get started At one point of uh, Frank's life He went for a, deal, went for a leave uh, from Marine, Marine Ops And he decided to come home to New York And spend time with his family Where that, at the moment at the time he have two children and he decided to bring his children and his wife to Central Park to just um, enjoy the evening and you know just spend time with his family because he's really a family guy and suddenly they actually <laughs> I can't even it's, it's, it's so sad okay it's happened that in the same time at the Central Park there's a mobsters uh, fighting with each other and Frank and his family 
I actually was the witness for that incident and of the mobster afraid that if there any witness saw them quarrel with each other they decided to kill every Frank family to eliminate the witness or the proof but sadly Frank's wife and his children died but Frank survived and then Frank, Frank obviously was traumatized with the incident and he actually want to go to the court to double confirm or to recognize the shooter but you know the mobster have like uh, they pull some string and the court actually denied Frank uh, to go and recognize the shooter and from that moment Frank was so angry and Frank said that he would do, he decided to not going back to the marine ops and he wants to change the way he looks in life and he wants to punish every guy he wants to avenge his family and he wants to kill every guy who actually responsible for his family death and since that moment of time Frank <laughs> changed um, he's not a uh, normal typical family guy who um, works as a marine ops he's a guy who wants to avenge on behalf of his family because his family is gone just like that so let's get started to talk about Frank's journey as the Punisher alright so Frank become one man war against crime as a Punisher and after a while he became punisher he killed punish few people and one day the mobster who responsible to kill his family decided to hire Billy Russo to kill Frank and he tracked Frank down but then Frank is more awesome than Billy Russo obviously and Frank decided to let Billy Russo live but in one condition they need to, he need to warn of the mobsters that hunt or uh, track Frank Castle down he asked Billy Russo to tell them that I will hunt you down and I will kill all of you but before Billy Russo uh, walk away Frank <laughs> grab his hair and then throw Billy Russo at windows and it affects Billy Russo face and after that Billy Russo face is totally different and he decided to be the jigsaw and there's no be Russo anymore it's the jigsaw and yeah uh, he became one of the biggest punisher enemy and one of the popular punisher enemy which is jigsaw it's not the jigsaw do you want to play a game but it's the different jigsaw <laughs> anyway um, let's talk about Frank Kessel powers and ability okay as we all know Frank Kessel don't have any superhero uh, superpower but even though he don't have any superpower, he's really good with weapon. He's really good at uh, combatant. He's really good at um, doing like all this military uh, interrogate, uh, military um, punishment because obviously he's used to be marine. And even Nick Fury said he was level six uh, strength or level six uh, classified as level six because he's really good at weapon he's really good at fighting even like Frank Castle walaupun dia boleh lawan superhuman power super power macam contoh if he met Jessica Jones uh, out of like Hell's Kitchen Jessica Jones obviously have a superhuman strength but Frank can actually handle walaupun dah kena bom walaupun dah kena tembak berapa banyak kali kat badan dia he can handle it and he can even stand up and fight again like against all the super superhuman <laughs> superhuman uh, superhero that's the thing Frank ni walaupun dia don't have any superpowers but he really good at weapon he really good at combatant he's really strong and yeah even if you really say he's classified level 6 punya uh, heroes ko ya imagine that and yeah I really excited to watch uh, Frank Castle um, in action with his gun and his you know his suit with this big skull I really excited for it and I'm really happy that Netflix actually decided to release the release date which is 17 November because all of my friends been asking me when will be the Punisher release their uh, apa ni, their release date when Netflix will release the release date 
you guys need to understand that they really need to take time because obviously after the Vegas incident they really need to um, slow down because we really need to pay respect to them because obviously Frank and Gun is really something really close and we don't want to even offend anyone and at last we will get Punisher next week don't forget to subscribe on Netflix and watch The Punisher because this time might be the last time we watch something from Marvel or Netflix I don't know uh, anyway guys I hope you guys really like it I'm gonna talk about microchip microchip is gonna be one personal um, one <laughs> Uh, special episode for microchip next week maybe on Wednesday I'm gonna talk about microchip don't forget to stay tuned and watch uh, that microchip video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to this channel because I really love uh, if you guys uh, you know give support to me I really, I really appreciate 145 subscribers thank you so much guys uh, I will do the best for you guys I will give you guys uh, more information about Marvel and about games and don't forget to watch my Horizon Zero Dawn Frozen Wild DLC and don't forget to watch my Assassin's Creed Origin uh, gameplay and I guess that's it guys take care be geek forever stay safe um, spread love no hate uh, take care don't forget to watch Punisher on Netflix that's it guys take care be geek forever bye assalamualaikum